my teaching practices in ways of giving students choices. At first, I was a little afraid of all the freedom that the program allows, but to be honest with you, with given parameters, the students have the total ability to make choices in my class. I've definitely implemented that a lot in our daily routines, our projects, our assignments, giving them lots of choices. It's also impacted my vocabulary a lot. Not being afraid to introduce new words to the kids, words that I would think would be too hard. Through descriptive language and the emotion chart and vocabulary, I've tried to bump that up a little bit and give that to my students this year as well. And I would say just in general, it allowed me to relax a little bit and have fun with the stories I was reading that can sometimes not be so fun and exciting. I was trying to think, what would my puppetry artist do to make this a little bit more fun and exciting? Oh, yeah. The eyebrows are circles. And the eyebrows are like pointed up like... Using puppetry in the Recess Queen and a Fine Fine School this year, we definitely saw differences in comprehension. The students began to understand the story better, the storyline. They definitely embodied more of the story elements. They could talk endlessly about characters, words that described their characters, how their characters moved, the relationship between characters. So when we used those stories through physical vocal expression, the students definitely gained better comprehension skills. So working with my colleagues at the PDs were wonderful. I love my colleagues and we're all very focused. Coyotes and bunny rabbits. So we kind of had a plan going into this year and we had set up with, you know, Aaron at previous PDs what we wanted to work on and meeting after school, you know, we tweaked those plans, we adjusted those plans to everyone's class, but my colleagues were all really game for popping in and, and you know, working with Erin this year. And we really liked adjusting the curriculum and we can definitely see a difference between the stories we worked with in our curriculum and puppetry. Look for danger. So moving forward, we kind of have a plan to do the same thing. Include puppetry into more of our curriculum. The Hungry Coyotes.